Hi everyone and welcome to my new tutorial. In this video I'm gonna show you how to make this trippy transition inside of Cinema 4D. And what's cool about this technique that we don't need to use any third-party renders like Redshift or Octane. All we need to do is standard render and the basic version of Cinema 4D. If you guys ready, let's hop into Cinema 4D and let's get started. First of all, we need to decide what aspect ratio we're gonna have in the final video. Let's go to settings and set it up. So for output, I'm gonna make it 1080 by 1080. Okay, it's gonna be square footage for Instagram. Uh, you can use your aspect ratio, it doesn't really matter here. But it's important to prepare your footage. Uh, and your footage has to have the same aspect ratio. In my case, it's square. And I did it in After Effects. I created a new composition with the 1080 by 1080 and dropped the footage there and rendered it out. All right, next thing we need to set up a amount of keyframes for our uh, animation. Let's go to Edit Project Settings. And here I have 24 frames per second. And the same I have in the footage that I prepared. All right, I will delete everything from here. There are a couple ways how to make this effect. I will start with the first one. Let's create cube. And this cube we need to break down into segments. Let's make it five, five, five. You can increase this uh, amount of polygons. Uh, the more polygons you have, the more, the more details you will have in the transition. For the sake of time, I will make it 5, but if you want to play and add more details, you can increase it. Alright, hit C to make it editable, and then I will select uh, Selection Tool, Brush Tool. Let's go to Polygon Mode, right here, and we need to select all polygons on top. And make sure you have Visible only, otherwise you will select behind the surface. And let's select all these polygons on top and on these sides, hit delete. And we have this like unwrapped box or three walls. Then we need to select all polygons here. I use Ctrl A and make right click and reverse normals. We need to reverse these normals. Then we need to select the first polygon, right click and use extrude tool. You can use hotkey D, just remember you can use D to extrude uh, some polygons. And let's get started. So I select this uh, polygon and I'm going to extrude it like so. Then I'm going to select the next one and I'm gonna make it a little bit shorter like so. This one will be Color, and we can play with different uh, height here. Next one, this we can make a little bit smaller. Okay, let's make this one bigger. Let's make like this. This one goes here, and this one like so. Okay, then. Do the same with the next row. And also we can use some sides, for example, like this. So we have this uh, pretty simple structure with the cubes inside of the cube. And we're gonna use method called projection. We're gonna project our texture on different surface. Okay, uh, let's create new camera and we need to place it, uh, let's start from the top position and to do this I need to reset all coordinates here. I use uh, this, uh, this button and hit reset transform. And now our camera is set on the zero coordinates by default. And we need to rotate it to, to minus 90 degree. Okay, like this. Then select uh, move tool, move it up. And here is the main trick. We cannot use this camera lens because we have uh, an 
we can see depth here and we need to avoid it therefore we need to change this type from perspective to orthographic like so and now we have a plain cube plain surface and because we use this orthographic method we cannot move this camera in its facing position and we have two options we can scale this cube up or we can go to objects and we can use zoom okay let's try zoom for now and now we fit our camera straight to this cube it shouldn't be perfect but it can be a little bit bigger like so not smaller otherwise this effect won't work let's go to project settings to render settings and from render i need to switch from redshift to standard then we are going to uh, material manager and let's create new material new standard material make sure it's not redshift material but standard material okay and here we need to turn off color and reflection and we need to use luminance and in luminance we need to load our texture i saved this as jpeg i select the first frame and hit open and let's open texture here let's go to uh, animation and hit calculate let's go to viewport and texture preview size let's make it bigger like 1024 by 1024 it's fine 1k it's enough okay then what we do next we select this uh, cube let's select the brush selection and we need to select all our visible polygons from this side and also make sure that visible only and then just drag and drop this material on these polygons like so and let's rename it as a okay and right now it looks strange and not as we want and we need to fix it so let's go to uh, our material let's select it here and projection we need to switch from uv mapping camera mapping all right so in camera section we need to drag and drop our camera like so and hit calculate and this will fit on our cube then what's next I'm making right click on this texture and generate UV coordinates and now if I release this camera and I can change different angles and we see that we have our material on its uh, place exactly what we want to have okay what's next now we need to create new null object to do this we can hit this null icon and let's rename it to rotation Let's place our camera inside of this null and this null has uh, 0, 0, 0 position coordinates and we can easily rotate it like so and you see already this effect it looks a bit trippy right now exactly what we want to have okay so from here we let's start with animation let's select p value hit the first um, keyframe move forward for example 30 frames and let's rotate it to 90 degrees select this cube one more time and select all these uh, polygons that are facing to us and here I'm going to duplicate this texture I hold ctrl key and drag and drop here and let's rename it to B and drag and drop this B texture on our polygon selections and here we have to do same things uh, select this B material let's change UV mapping to camera mapping and drag and drop our camera here calculate right click generate UV coordinates and now we have this trippy effect let's preview this okay now we can extend our timeline let's move to 
curve mode. Let's select our keyframes and let's make them soft. And let's add some dynamic here. Let's take a look. Yeah, it looks awesome, but um, at some point we have um, gray elements here, gray sides. And to fix this, we can use, for example, our A texture and drag and drop here and place it before our existing uh, materials, like so. And that's it. And actually, at this point, you can replace B texture with different image if you want to have transition or leave it like this if you want to have this effect, not a transition. All we need to do now is to render this footage. So let's go to render settings. And we don't need multipass. All we need to do is to use save. Uh, Anti-aliasing, let's set to best. Honestly, I'm not sure if this has any impact on this uh, appearance, but I know I have some kind of habit to use anti-aliasing as best. Then we go to save and here I use format PNG usually, but you can use MP4 and select path where you want to render it and hit render. So actually that's it. Okay, we've done pretty good job and now we have this trippy cool transition and my main goal was to show you this technique and you can use this projection method in different type of objects uh, with different deformations and so on. Let me know in the comments what do you think about this technique, if you find it useful. And also don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I will really appreciate it and see you guys in the next videos. Peace.